go for a run with the dogs, read a book, uh, binge watch on Netflix. What are the four top trends in the communication industry you, should, you can share with us today, specifically uh, for 2019? Reputation is going to be very, very key because you're right. all online, you're in your face, you're right. everywhere. Right. And, you know, everybody has a smartphone today. Right. The other thing I think we are worried about and we need to take, uh, you know, we need to figure out how to go around it or work with it or what to do is fake news. Because fake news is can be very, very damaging. Right. You know? And uh, that's one thing. I, I think these are the two key ones. And... Uh, in India particularly, I think the rise of regional and the importance of region is going to become, uh, you know, become key and a critical way to get to our target audience if we have regional audience, which we will. So as our markets, you know, that's how we can reach the target audience and uh, our uh, customers. Fourth one is um, integration. I mean, that's been there, yes. but it's going to be tighter and closer and uh, constantly not just know technology, know how to use technology the right way to get the benefits. Right. From an industry perspective, how does technology today, what is the impact it has and how does it actually lead to significant increase in ROI? Is it, is it being leveraged correctly? That's, you know, the point you were also trying to make. Okay, so here, you know, this is, I go back <clears throat> to my first job, which was in technology. And what we had to do was to make people understand with this technology, this is what your benefit is. Right. And I still haven't gone away from that. So you can give me as many dashboards as you want. You can give me as many technology as you can, can, can confuse me, whatever the way you want to. But I only want to know how many people did we reach? How many conversions did we have and what is the ROI, whether it is in marketing, whether it's in communications. And that's key. So we need to harness technology to get where we want to get. Right. And there's a way to a means, it's a platform. Right. And we need to use it as a platform. Women representation at management levels has improved from before, but it's not as great as it should be. So what are the things organizations can do to, uh, you know, make this better? Simple thing. For two CVs you get, get two CVs of women. Choose the best. Just simple things. And I think women also, we need to be more aspiring. We need to be not aggressive, but assertive. Right. You know, and, you know, just walk the talk, deliver. That's it. So today, while everything's changing around, how do you make sure your organization is future ready? I think the organization just has to be, you know, think digitally and uh, work digitally, be in, in a global world. So that's what we do. Right. Do you find that a challenge and a struggle because something, you know, everything's changing all the time and, you know, people may or may not be changing. So the, like we spoke of internal and external today, is that a struggle that you grapple with as well? As Gandhi also said, be the change you want to be. There's a difficult and yet simple to yes, deal with. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, change is not an easy thing to happen you know it doesn't happen easily but you've got to work at it how do you unwind go for a run with the dogs read a book uh, binge watch on netflix <laughs> or well i do this every weekend my husband and i just go just the two of us go for a coffee and a chat just just talk put all the gadgets away and it's that's nice too